back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with us here in the locker room. Well, Pete, it's back-to-back -back losses for the back-to-back -back champs. Yeah, for the first time since 2014, the St. Francis Cougars find themselves trying to snap a losing streak. The Cougs followed up their loss to Marion with another setback at Concordia last weekend. The offense struggled to get much of anything going. Cougs never found the end zone, and Matt Crable was sacked 10 times Ooh. on the afternoon. So, with two losses, your playoff hopes are still alive, but the margin for error is thin, and the schedule doesn't get any easier. St. Francis now returns home to host an undefeated Siena Heights team tomorrow afternoon. Well, you know, you, it's a gut check. You got to find out what kind of grit you got. Um, you got to own mistakes. We haven't had to do a whole lot of that with two losses in three previous years. Got to protect our quarterback better. It's been uh, demanding in practice, and making guys own their mistakes and get them fixed or we get where we make changes. I mean, it's just really been challenging us to be, play to our full potential, um, hold everybody else accountable and you know, do all, all the little things right. He always talks about entitlement, and uh, I guess that's kind of creeped in a little bit and you know, battling that entitlement now. Uh, honestly, I feel like it's been a learning experience for everybody. A lot of people on the team haven't experienced a loss at St. Francis, so it's definitely good to feel it happens to everybody. It definitely has motivated us to definitely practice better, play harder. I feel like it's going to help us in the long run. Yeah, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. Forgot that was there. Kickoff set for noon tomorrow out at Bishop Darcy Stadium. We'll have